Hello friends, hope all you are fine and doing well. Welcome to our channel UG Mold Tech. In today's video, we will be unlocking the secrets behind Unigraphix NX Interview Questions and Answers Part 3. If you're preparing for a career in Unigraphix NX or simply looking to enhance your knowledge, you've come to the right place. Stay ahead of the competition and join us on this enlightening journey into Unigraphix NX Interview Questions and Answers. Don't miss out on this invaluable opportunity to boost your career prospects. Make sure to subscribe to, so you never miss an update on the latest industry insights, tips, and tutorials. We are committed to helping you achieve your goals and excel in the field of Unigraphics NX. Let's start with the number one in NX interview questions. What is the purpose of the feature navigator in Unigraphics NX? The Feature Navigator in Unigraphics NX is a tool that allows users to easily manage and navigate through the features of a part or assembly. It provides a visual representation of the feature tree, making it easier to understand the design hierarchy and relationships between features. The Feature Navigator helps users locate, edit, suppress, or delete specific features, improving efficiency and productivity in the design process. Friends next point in NX interview questions and answers is 2. How can you create a parametric relationship between two features in Unigraphics NX? In Unigraphics NX, you can create a parametric relationship between two features by using constraints. Constraints define the relationship between geometric elements, such as dimensions, angles, or alignments, ensuring that changes to one feature affect the others accordingly. By establishing this parametric relationship, any changes made to the first feature will automatically update the second feature based on the defined expression. This allows for efficient design modifications and ensures consistency throughout the model. Friends next point in NX CAD interview questions is 3. How can you create an assembly in Unigraphics NX? To create an assembly in Unigraphics NX, you can start by creating a new assembly file and then adding components to it. Components can be inserted from existing files or created within the assembly environment. Constraints and relationships can be applied to define the assembly structure. Creating an assembly in Unigraphics NX allows you to bring together multiple components and define their relationships, enabling you to simulate real-world assemblies and perform various analyses. Friends next point in UGNX interview is 4. What is the purpose of the drafting module in Unigraphics NX? The drafting module in Unigraphics NX is used for creating detailed engineering drawings from 3D models. It provides tools for dimensioning, annotation, and generating views, allowing users to communicate design intent and specifications effectively. The drafting module provides a comprehensive set of tools and features to create accurate and professional drawings, ensuring that design intent is effectively communicated to stakeholders, such as production teams, suppliers, or clients. It enables the creation of orthographic views, section views, exploded views, bill of materials, BOM, and other essential elements required in the manufacturing and documentation process. Friends next point in NX interview questions and answers is 5. How does Unigraphics support sheet metal design? Unigraphics NX provides specialized tools for sheet metal design, including features for creating bends, flanges, and cutouts. It also supports unfolding and flat pattern generation for manufacturing purposes. Unigraphics NX streamlines the sheet metal design process, ensuring accurate representation, efficient manufacturing, and effective communication of sheet metal components. Friends next point in UGNX interview is 6. How can you perform a finite element analysis, FEA, in Unigraphics NX? Unigraphics NX has a built-in simulation module called NX Nastron that enables users to perform finite element analysis. It allows for structural, thermal, and dynamic analysis of parts and assemblies, helping to validate designs and optimize performance. Unigraphics NX offers a comprehensive suite of simulation capabilities, allowing engineers to perform advanced FEA to assess the structural integrity, performance, and behavior of their designs. It helps in optimizing designs, reducing physical prototyping, and ensuring product reliability. Friends next point in NX interview is 7. What are the key features of Unigraphics NX? Some key features of Unigraphics NX include advanced 3D modeling, parametric modeling, assembly design, drafting and documentation, 
simulation and analysis capabilities, manufacturing process planning, and integrated data management. Friends, next point in interview questions and answers is 8. What are some simulation capabilities in UniGraphics NX? UniGraphics NX offers simulation capabilities such as finite element analysis, FEA, computational fluid dynamics, CFD, motion analysis, and multi-body dynamics to evaluate and optimize designs. These simulation capabilities in UniGraphics NX empower engineers and designers to evaluate and optimize designs early in the development process, reducing costs, improving product quality, and accelerating time to market. Friends, next point in UGNX and tier view is 9. How does UniGraphics NX support manufacturing? UniGraphics NX supports manufacturing by providing tools for process planning, tooling design, and computer aided manufacturing (CAM) to generate toolpaths for CNC machines. UniGraphics NX is a powerful tool for manufacturers looking to streamline their design and manufacturing processes and improve their productivity and efficiency. Friends, next point in UGNX interview is 10. What is the difference between rotational WCS and dynamic WCS? In rotational WCS we can give the angle by which the WCS need to rotate by typing it in the space provided, while in dynamic WCS we can dynamically rotate the WCS and give the angle. The main difference between rotational WCS and dynamic WCS is that rotational WCS is defined by a fixed axis, while dynamic WCS is defined by the position and orientation of a selected object. Friends, next point in UniGraphics NX is 11. In which command do you find strings, apex string, and spline string? We find these options in section command of freeform feature. Friends, next point in UGNX interview question and answer frequently asked is. 12. What is string mode? String mode is an option which is available while creating lines and arc using basic curves. When the string mode is selected we can draw continuous lines or arc. If the string mode is not selected we can create only one line or arc at a time. Friends, next point in UGNX interview is. 13. What is bottom-up assembly? In bottom-up assembly we create the different parts of an assembly in separate file and then get them and assemble using constraint. The bottom-up assembly method is useful when creating complex products that consist of many individual parts, as it allows each part to be designed and tested separately before being assembled together. This can help to reduce errors and improve the overall quality of the final product. Additionally, the bottom-up assembly method allows for greater flexibility in the design process, as individual parts can be modified or replaced without affecting the rest of the assembly. Friends, next point in top 10 UniGraphics NX interview questions is 14. What is the difference between datum plane and fixed datum plane? A datum plane is a reference plane that serves as aid when existing planes are not available. The datum plane can be edited later. The fixed datum plane are datum planes which cannot be edited later. A fixed datum plane is typically used in conjunction with other fixed datum features, such as fixed datum points or fixed datum axis, to establish a complete reference system for the design. Friends, next point in NX interview is 15. How can we identify the manually edited dimensions in drafting? We can identify by going to information to others to objects specific to dimension with manual text. By using these methods, you can easily identify any dimensions that have been manually edited in your NX UniGraphics drafting file. Friends, next point in NX interview questions is 16. What do you meant by weight management? The weight management option allow us to calculate and control the weight and other mass properties of parts, components and assemblies based on the solid bodies they contain. By using these tools and techniques, designers and engineers can effectively manage the weight of their products and components, leading to improved performance, efficiency, and cost effectiveness. Friends if you found this video helpful, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button. We have a lot more informative content coming your way. Thanks for watching and see you in the next one.